have full control over the images and, and the edits and everything, but I'd ha probably have to say the Pimp C book. Um, and so how that came about um, after he passed, you know, it was kind of something that I was thinking about for a while and I finally asked Bun, mm -hmm. you know, I just called Bun and said, I have this idea, how do you feel? And, you know, he pretty much gave me the green light. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. What would you say is the pinnacle of your career so far that you've accomplished? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, as, as a journalist, um, I just always like to have control over my material. So I don't, I don't do a whole lot of um, writing for other publications. You okay. know, I always just like to do my own so I can have full control over the images and, and the edits and everything. But I probably have to say the Pimp C book. Um, and so how that came about, um, after he passed, you know, it was kind of something that I was thinking about for a while. And I finally asked Bun, mm -hmm. you know, I just called Bun and said, I have this idea. How do you feel? And, you know, he pretty much gave me the green light um, to go ahead with it. And so I, I approached his mom next. Um, and his wife agreed in the beginning, too. That's a whole other story. But <laughs> yeah, I think I heard I, you speak on that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we won't get into that too much. But um, when I went to meet with his mom, I kind of I was kind of nervous, you know, because I hadn't met her before. And I had this whole like kind of, you know, spiel prepared of mm -hmm. how I was going to pitch her on it. We, you know, took her out to eat. And, you know, from the very first sentence, I said, hey, I've been thinking about, you know, doing this book. She was she was just all on board with it. And so I was surprised that she was so, you know, right. enthusiastic about it. And um, as as I got to know her and, and we spent more time, she kind of explained that he had, you know, spoken so highly of me, like from the beginning, you know, when I first went to, to visit him, she, he had called her and awesome. said, hey, I met this, you know, she's got this. Uh, so she already knew about magazine, you. So she had mm -hmm. already heard a lot about right. me. And um, <laughs> it's funny, actually, because when I, when I went in and I had already sent him some magazines, I think Wendy Day had given me his address or whatever. Mm -hmm. So when I first sat down, you can like hear it on the video or whatever, when I first sat down and, and said, hey, I'm here, you know, from Ozone. He was like, who owns this magazine? <laughs> I, I thought he was like mad, like we printed something, you know, wrong, whatever. And I said, I said, I do, you know, and I'm this young white, you know, young yeah, white girl. He's yeah. like, he's like, you, you own this? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's my magazine. Beautiful. So, um, oh, and you asked earlier, but so about partners, I did have a partner uh, early on, Chino. Okay. Shout out to Chino. He, he uh, was from Orlando and, and um, had a, a record label called DEA. So, but uh, I, I ended up buying him out. I think it was like a year or two in. Um, I mean, he was never fully active. He had like five or six other. Did you, have, you had a rep but, here in um, Dallas named Pookie. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Pookie. <laughs> shout out to Pookie, man. I, I'm yeah. doing my research here, you know. Well, I remember, I think it was Manny Fresh said one time that we had so many reps. He was like, yeah, man, I was in, I was in Africa and this guy jumped out from behind a bush and said he was from Ozone. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, was, but I hate partnerships anyway. I always feel like if you own, if you're able to monetarily write, write out own something, yeah. do it because two people or three people never have the same passion for it. Well, Somebody's I had so many people try. I mean, like, like I, take uh, it from I, had other, I had other people try to try to buy it, and yeah. I was never too enthusiastic about that idea because I just mm -hmm. like the creative, you know, having the creative control. Exactly. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.